Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is the World Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans. Bit of an update for you and a question. So let's see how this one goes. What I've done, I've put bits in as I would on just the ones that I've done so that you don't have to look through all of them because there are separate videos. Just show the latest ones I've been working on. It's not the bookcase one. It's this one. So what have I used here? Well, I've used glaze, the jelly ball pens. I've used these, the Stadtiedler. Um Norris Aquarel, because they're watercolours. But I don't always use them as watercolours. So I've used those. I have used it. the starry bits are done with my Uni Posca pen. Makes a noise. I had to do a bit more outlining. So I'd gone over that in a pen towel finito. And the background was by using the these neo color two water solubles they're um if i can get them open for you there we go all of those colors you can tell i don't use them much and he's a bit broken shame but i do use them and they're very effective you put them down you just scribble it on um and then you have water and it goes all over the place as you can see so i enjoyed doing that one a bit different very colorful very pretty you've already seen the bookshelf one so i'm not going to show you that one you've seen the apple so this one is the porcupine i think he's a porcupine what did i use there this was just the steadiedler ones just the color ones they're a nice pencil because they're a watercolor they're actually quite soft, um, but they do get in nice. And I thought they were nice, vivid colours on there. Very different. And I like that one. I thought it was quite colourful. I didn't do a background. But I don't always do backgrounds because it's like sometimes I'm just not sure if it should or shouldn't have a background <laughs> sort of thing. What have we done here? Well, this is the bees. Let's come back to that one for you. I've done the bees and the ships. Um, again, the Norris Aquarel Stadiedler, right way up. Um, nice vivid colours, as you can see. I didn't wet these. I didn't didn't water these down. You could have done, but I didn't. I just thought, no, oh, I like it as it is. I was quite happy. My different colours on there. What do we have next? We have the one of the fishies. Very vivid, isn't it? What did I use here again? This was the Stadilla and jelly rolls. Actually, I used some jelly rolls in places because you can just see. Well, <laughs> I can see. I don't know if it if I held it up. Can you see it shines? No, perhaps not. The, the little fishies have, have got shiny bits on them. But uh, I like that one. It, it looks, <laughs> it's a clean picture. Does that make sense? A clean picture. You can pause these at any time if you like. <laughs> so you can look at them better. Now this one, I like the bunnies. Again, it's had... The watercolour one, in which I've actually, I used a, a watercolour brush just to do the sky, to sort of take out the lines that might have been in there. So you just do it with the water brush and it clears them over. As I say, the pencils are really soft to use. And I did some two-tone. I'm not, I'm not a colourist. I just like to colour. Does that make sense? So I do 
what I like to do. I'm not, I'm not one of these, oh, I've needed colour wheel. It must be that colour. They must match. No. For me, it's about, oh, I like that colour. I'm going to use it. So there we go. I did have a question. And the question is for actually Kirby himself. And the question is, I wonder if Kirby himself looks at our videos to see how we colour his books. You just don't know, do you? <laughs> Who's watching our colouring? Nice colours. In fact, it, it's strange. I can see it on the video and I like it better on there than I do in the real book. That's bizarre, isn't it? But there you go. Could be just me. And the last one on offer today was the flamingos. So what have I done there? Ah, a bit different here. I've used Crayola Twistables. This is the Crayola Twistables. As I say, they're literally... Take one out for you. You twist the bottom and out comes... <laughs> The colouring pencil. You can put them back down if you don't want to get them broken. So there's twistable coloured pencils. That's one set. And the other set that I was using on this particular one are the twistable Crayola crayons. They're a bit thicker. I still twist to it again. But they are a thicker end. Which is good for big spaces. You can get those on. I was trying different things. I know it says 3+. plus. <laughs> Mentally, I'm probably about 3+, plus, so that's good. But <laughs> it's a case of finding out different colouring pencils and things to use. So I'm quite, quite impressed with these Stadilo ones. The Norris Aquarel. Not expensive, but very nice to colour with. And that was a short video. That was my latest ones. And you can see I've still got plenty to colour in there. And I've actually done plenty, which we've done the actual videos for. I like this one. That was a nice colourful one. And you can see I put little tabs on them because I date everything I do. What reason? I have no idea, but I just do it. So there's lots of little tabs on them of when they were done. And considering when I get this one, 2020, there's an October there. Probably about the earliest. Yes, I think he was really one of my early ones. But I'm still enjoying these colouring books. And I know you are too. We just love these books. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. And there you have it. My World Within Worlds latest colouring pages update. <laughs> That's a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, you might want to give me a thumbs up if you like these. And do subscribe to the channel. Because I bring a mixture. My videos are always a mixture. I'll do craft, colouring, Bible dressing, all sorts of things. Poetry, children's stories. You name it, I'll find it. And I'll bring it to you. In hopefully a nice friendly fashion. <laughs> that keeps you tuned in. So there we go. So, stay safe. Stay well. Enjoy the nice weather while we have it here in the UK. And for all our overseas subscribers, welcome. Join us. We just love to have everybody on board. Or I'll get the we from. I think I'm talking we as in a country, perhaps. Anyway, I like all my subscribers. I like you to come and see my work. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and I'm baffling on. So I'll give in now. Anyway, stay safe. Love each other. That's the main thing. Love what you do. Whether it's colouring or writing or making. 
Enjoy what you do. That's what it's about. Have some me time, as in you time. And I'll just say, bye bye for now.